this circle, trace the sky at the zenith. That is not the right place. That is not the right place. In this circle, trace the abyss at the foundation. In this circle, trace the abyss at the foundation. In this circle, trace the abyss at the foundation. In this circle, trace the earth at the middle, all around the leopard. The spirits that are angry at Rodan will help us. Bring the effigies of these spirits. A healer spirit. A spirit of nature and an emissary of the gods. Place the spirit of nature to the east of the earth so that the sun may shine on your leopard. There's no reason to give him that. Not like that. Not like that. Place the healing spirit to the west of the earth to prevent the night from stealing your leopard away. Not like that. Now we need your effigy so that you can give something of yourself to the leopard. Place it in the sky. Gods demand just a little money. finished. Now we will also need morphine, and then disinfectant and bandages. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.
I'm not giving him that. No, I can't imagine why I'd give him that. There's no reason to give him that. I'm not giving him that. Huh. At the military dispensary. Goodbye. Hmm, Malkia. Good. Good. Perfect. Now I need some quiet to take care of the leopard. Do not disturb me. by the images on the TV. Emerald. And that's a good exchange.
side of the frog monsters. Yeah, hey, so you're not dead. Oh, now that is good news. Do I know you? Willy Van Denaar, the king's right hand man. Loyal service to this kingdom of trinkets and baubles for over 30 years, Miss Malkia. I knew you when you were knee high to a grasshopper. Used to bounce you on my knee. I don't remember. Sorry. And then there was your mother. Ah, I knew her well. A beautiful woman, if truth be told. Real classy. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't much like this country. Too many mosquitoes, too much heat. <laughs> too much everything. So, you knew my mother? Oh, yes, miss. Yes, I did. Knew her well. You know, if she hadn't taken off like that in the night with you under her arm, then good King Roden would never have got rotten. He'd still be the good old debonair we knew before. I... I don't remember any of that. Let me tell you something, my girl. I reckon that you find it mighty handy sometimes not to remember, huh? They told me you'd even brought that bloody black leopard with you. Now that, that, that ain't no coincidence, huh? Huh? I don't understand. Why are you talking about my leopard? It was your father gave you that leopard 15 years ago. We killed the mother when we were out hunting. <laughs> Just a little ball of black fur. You played with him like he was a kitten. Should have seen that. <laughs> Your mother didn't like it, though. But you know, the thing was just a kitten. But, you know, baby leopards, <laughs> they get bigger. Tell me the rest of the story about the leopard. Oh, one day you must have pulled his whiskers a touch too hard. And that plastic leopard forgot he was some kind of adorable kitten. It was him gave you that nasty scar on your shoulder. Ah, uh, cut you wide open, it did. So your mother seizes the opportunity, shoves you in her suitcase, and takes off for Switzerland and civilization. It's the Prince of Madagon that gave me that leopard. After you were injured, it ran off into the wild. <laughs> Must have had a bad conscience. We never heard about it again. What happened at Zamarat? The innocent people that died, the place in flames. We thought you were dead. The people of Zamorat were responsible. What you did in Zamorat doesn't even have a name, Vandenard. You're a butcher. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. But it's all over now, Malkia. You stop the Tom Tom drums. The rebels are coming. You don't have much time to see your father. My father. Where is my father? His majesty is barricaded in his quarters. Now, go, Malkia. Leave me alone.
No, it's too dangerous. not your princess. I... my name is Anne Smith. Yes, of course. Come. No. Hug your father. No, I don't think... my name is Anne Smith. It's good to have you back, Malkia. When your mother took you, nothing here was the same. She'd come to hate this country. Probably she'd never loved it. After... Why have you come back, Princess? My name's Anne Smith. I take you to see the animals along the river. Do you remember, Malkia? We'd leave the boat. You'd climb on my back, and off we went, the two of us. And how you loved the little brown gazelles always on their guard. No. They seemed to dance along the river. No! My name is Anne Smith! I've come home to kill you, Father! I prefer that it's you. Hug your father. <laughs> 